secrets in the kitchen, ingredients you wouldn't expect, pages torn from his favorite books, handwritten recipe cards in a water stain, in water stain script, my love letters for cleanliness. I picked up a handful of flour and spread it over the counter. He kneaded the sticky dough, turning it onto itself. I was alarmed when he shredded my words from your mood and sifted them into the mixing bowl, but the aroma of the bread in the oven was enough to give it a chance. The smell was like nothing I had ever tasted. The sweet decay of leaf litter, sandy towels drying on the line. After the bread had cooled, he carved me a slice. The crust crunched like popcorn in a dark feeder. The inside was soft, like being tucked into bed. I finished my piece carefully. He smelled differently after our meal, like home. We left the dishes in the sink. He read to me from his favorite picture books and asked me to tear out the pages I liked best for the next loaf. I nested in the warm bedding, listening to his warm, even breathing, and fell easily asleep. My dream that night was about sleeping bees. I climbed into their hive carefully. They sleepwalked away from my hands and knees as I crawled through, until they swarmed, and I woke in my bed to find the house was burning. I got up put the books from the shelf into the bathtub so they would be safe from the fire. As I filled the tub with water, the stains from the pages, mildew, coffee, penned underlines, lifted and rose to the surface. I touched the shiny film. Once the books were clean, the drain opened and I swam through to the other side. I was waiting with a raft for you. I told you I tried to mail you a letter, though it wasn't much, just some words and something I found something I found off the street I thought you might like. But the raft started to drip, and you were still standing at the edge of the tub. I noticed how dark the water turned. Small waves rippled on the mirrored surface. I couldn't see through to the still bottom. The next day, I came by with a shoebox full of scraps, old photos, ticket stubs, postcards, dog-eared letters, and I went to let myself in through the side door, but my key was missing. After knocking, he greeted me with a cloud of smoke. I thought the house was burning, but he told me it was just the ruined bread, forgotten in the oven.